Okay, Kawasaki Ninja H2. I thought it would be a really long time before I ever get my hands on this <coughs> beautiful big bike because it's just so dang expensive and no one wants to rent it out. The one that I saw on Rideshare is $500 per day and uh, that's pretty hefty when you consider that you have to tack on insurance and um, other fees. But I just saw one pop up today and uh, it was at a significantly discounted price by another renter so I decided to check it out and right now I'm taking it to the canyons because that's where these super sports belong. Look at the straight on freeway, free, freeway smackdowns. I'm just, I mean, as cool as they are, I don't want to get a ticket and lose my license. Plus, you don't really get a sense of like how a motorcycle behaves on, unless Unless, um, until you put it on like, um, through the test of the corners. I mean, just like life, nothing is, nothing is in a straight path. There's all these bumps and corners and you want to see how a bike handles that. fun the bike is really heavy okay so this bike is made for the street scary the renter said to be really be careful this bike has a lot of torque what should I be careful when I ride on this bike. <laughs> it has too much power, just, it's boosting a lot, with a lot of Be, um, you know, I try to tell him that I know what I'm doing and that I have a V4R, but he wasn't impressed. He said, it's had way more torque and it behaves way differently. And around 4,000 RPM, the supercharge kicks in, so be aware of that. And, um, dude, you guys see this? All those rocks? Imagine if you were at a big lean. You could definitely crash. So be careful when you ride in the canyons. And um, I just unsubscribed to a YouTuber that I really liked because he doesn't wear gear. He has all these exotic bikes, but he doesn't wear gear. And uh, I just think um, as much as possible, we should try to... Uh, while sharing the exhilarating part of this sport, um, I'm condemning someone else as I'm like speeding through the canyons. Yeah, hypocritical much. Um, but at least I'm in full gear. I have airbags on. I have like, you know, a year's worth of track days underneath me, and I packed a lot of those in. So, how do I feel about how it corners? You know, it corners pretty well. It feels very powerful, and it feels like if you make a mistake in any of these corners, um, you could be in big trouble. But look how fast it accelerates. Oh my god! Whoa! That feels faster than my V4R, and I'm not even full revving. Oh. Oh, can the brakes handle it? Oh, the brakes are powerful, but compared to the power this bike holds, uh, the brakes are there just for uh, safety 
I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm like overwhelmed by the power of this bike. But it feels really nice through this corner. Um, the, the bucket seat that it has is uh, really useful because it has so much torque that you're literally flying and like the back of the seat catches you before you're able to uh, freaking fly off this thing. Let's see if I can be smooth while uh, enjoying this beautiful fucking fun bike. Um, as far as fun factor, to be honest, uh, I'm not going at like max wrist speed or anything, nor can I at my level right now. But, oh my god. Um, I'm speechless. It's just the power is just readily there on my uh, R6 that I usually ride in the canyons. It just takes so long to build up, but it's instantly there. Oh my God. really heavy when you switch from um, side to side um, let me talk about some other things I think about the bike I didn't take a quick uh, 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 as you see it does look very different from the other bikes it's almost like the function came uh, came before f form and um, it wanted everyone to know that it is a monster by looking like a monster. And I have no problem with that. <laughs> My heart is not even beating, it's just like trying to hang on for dear life. It's not that I can't handle this speed, it's just that there's so much power underneath this thing. Imagine if you're like riding a dragon or something and it's like coasting along for you. But you know that if he wanted to, he can like warp speed to like another continent on or something. Just uh, you gotta respect the power. As much as I love this experience, uh, I'm super scared. And um, I think this is a bike that you can fully enjoy on a track like Auto Club Speedway where, you, where there's a couple of nice straights and um, you can enjoy its full speed. I think Tony Elias um, in, one, in one of the last track days like broke the speed record there or something or he was going like 200 something miles per hour on the H2R. This bike about but the track version. and. Uh, Shift it to one, I don't like that. You know, I always felt ACH was a nice, easy ride, especially at the um, uh, pace that I go at. But I do feel like with this bike, it's almost as if I was on those tight canyons in Malibu, and I really have to work to uh, move this bike side to side because it gets to the next corner so fast you're already there and then you have to um, kind of position yourself for the next thing day two was way more fun because we were on the nine mile which had longer straights um, but all in all I don't think this bike is good for the clients it was just too heavy but you should definitely experience it. Oh, the amount of power and like the gear change because I didn't time it right. It was a lot. I'll 
from? All in all, I think it was an exotic experience, and you should check it out. Use the link below and rent it from Max. He's awesome. Uh, warm up the tire. Warm it up? Okay, 